Welcome back. This is our sixth installment in a series of tutorials aimed at introducing the novice user to Inspiration 8. In this tutorial we're going to concentrate on attaching notes to items in our web or diagram. And we will look at both text notes and audio notes. So let's get started. First of all, let's presume that I wanted to attach a note to carrots. There's one way to do it. It's by going to the note link up here. We get a little notepad in which we can type. Now, this button here, the two-headed arrow, automatically resizes our note to the size of the text that we've typed. We can move the note wherever we want and we can close it. Now if we want to access that note, again, first of all if we haven't clicked on the bubble we won't see it, but if we select the bubble we'll see this little notepad icon up here. We click it and there we can see our note again. We can edit it if we choose to. I'll just point out here very quickly that notes you can select the color for those just as you can select the color for anything else with those laws and shapes down at the bottom. A second way to create a note is by right clicking on the bubble and go to add or edit note. Notice it doesn't like my spelling of consumption here. So I can right click that and it didn't like cholesterol very much either. Good thing we have a spell checker. Again, we can resize that note and we can position it. Now, the position we pl put that note in is the position it will return when we bring it back. Just made a liar out of me there. Let's try that again. just wants to come back a little bit larger print. So that's how we add text notes. Now the advantage of text notes isn't all that readily apparent until we go to outline mode. And now you see here's oatmeal and we have our note about oatmeal below it. And down here, here's carrots with that note below that. So we can start to flesh out our outline and then Remember that we can transfer that over to Microsoft Word. So any typing that we do in Inspiration can be transferred over to Word and we don't have to type that again. Just go back to our diagram here. So that's how would we would add text notes. Audio notes work a little bit differently. In this case I'm just going to click on hot dogs here. Now we could go up to menu up at the top, but I find the easiest thing here is to right click and insert video or sound. And Inspiration allows us to record sounds directly within the program, so let's do it that way. It's the easiest way. We can record sound. We get this little recorder. Hot dogs contain high levels of fats and salts, which are not necessarily good for us. We'll stop and we'll click Save. And when we do, you see we get a little speaker icon beside that. That disappears when we don't have that bubble selected. But when we click on it, we can play that sound. Hot dogs contain high levels of fats and salts, which are not necessarily good for us. Now, this behaves differently than text notes in that if we go to our outline, here's hot dogs. We don't necessarily see the audio note there. Ah, but here it is over here. So we can play the audio from there as well. So that's a very quick tutorial on how to add text or audio notes. It should be pointed out that if you have a sound that you want to incorporate that's already recorded and is in file format, then remember 
And when we came here, insert video or sound, sound file was one of our choices. So suppose we wanted to insert a recorded sound, we could do that just like this. Right click, insert video or sound, sound file, and here's a sound we found perhaps on the internet. We attach that, and then once again, we can click here to play that sound. And video would work much the same way. Right click, insert video or sound, and you would look for the video file. So that's how to create and edit notes, both textual and sound.